Hi everyone, welcome to the Cozy Cushion. I'm Natasha, I'm your host of the Cozy Cushion, my office here in Nova Scotia, where I like to take the opportunity to take a moment and invite you in to my video to listen to me talk about some things that have been important to me, that have been on my mind. And today I have a, just a fun idea. I just need to try some new things and I need your help. So I'm gonna pull some tarot cards during this video for the people that may be listening and they may be uh, applied to your life. So we'll see. Oh, excuse me. So just to get started today, uh, I'm Natasha, your host here at the Cozy Cushion. I'm an intuitive empath with psychic ability. So what that means is I'm a very empathetic person and I like to tune into the energy of the planet and all of our people, really, for their, our better good. I like to help people feel better every day in every way. So I come here each week and I share some tips, ideas, and share parts of my life that maybe will help you live your life a little better. Earlier today, I answered a question that was left in my comments down below. Somebody had asked me about my tattoos and so I just made a post with the pictures of my tattoos and some very brief descriptions about the thing, you know, uh, what they mean to me and maybe why I've got, why I got them. So thank you for leaving me that question. I love to engage with you. And that's one of my greatest goals here at the Cozy Cushion, to create a community and a family of people that give a shit about each other and really care about each other's dreams and how each other are feeling and doing in life. Oftentimes the things that we need to talk about most, we hold deep inside and we don't talk about those things. And they accumulate within our body systems and they can make us very sick and sad and hopeless. And that's where today's talk kind of came from. I was reading a book that I have and ideas for my videos come through during times that I'm reading or when I'm doing my farm work. Oftentimes I'll really think deeply about something. So one of the things that I was thinking about and just all humans do and we all have in common is our free will. So with these videos, I come each week with an intention and my intention is to engage, enhance, educate, and enjoy my life and share it with my viewers, the people that want to follow me, my tribe of people that want to live a cozy life and find a cushion, uh, which is my sacred space to kind of fall back on when we get overwhelmed or have life questions or the energy in our body feels stuck. And when energy gets stuck in our body, it causes illness so we can feel it. Um, oftentimes when we get a cold, that means we're not taking care of our immune system. So, you know, uh, as an intuitive empath, I pick up on a lot of those energies of in in people's bodies and in their systems and oftentimes people naturally want to share with me what's going on that's you know why I was a personal trainer and yoga instructor is I very early in my career I recognized that what one of my most sacred gifts was my empathy and the ability for people to walk up to me and say hi how you doing have I seen you around before? And nine times out of 10, they ab absolutely haven't, or I don't remember. And the conversation will very quickly turn to people's greatest pains in life. 
in a happy spirited way and I love that about my sacred medicine so free will I just want to remind everybody is our free will to do what's best for ourselves and oftentimes to do what's best for ourselves friends is the hardest thing to do you know I recently have cut back on my coffee intake and for this particular video uh, after getting all my chores done and stuff like that I actually made a decaf I can only have one coffee a day now that's what I'm choosing to do for my body it's not my preference I don't enjoy this anybody that knows me is probably wondering if you know I'm okay and uh, I'm doing that because I realize my body's filled with toxins and coffee brings on especially the caffeine it really over time really does wreak havoc on our central nervous system and I suffer from anxiety and depression and dehydration and most recently high blood pressure so I need to look at my health differently coffee is a free will choice I'm forcing myself to make because it's in my best interest and the results have been really really wonderful for me do I like it absolutely not but I get an opportunity to rid my body of toxins that I don't need and I get a chance to live a healthier and happier life and what I find about this is I've been clearer in my mind I've been feeling more settled and, and not so spiral like oftentimes when people suffer from anxiety and depression we are big dreamers we love um, to do things we love to be successful but we spiral in our stuff our own thoughts sometimes our own to-do lists and especially if you're an intuitive empath and you're feeling other people's energies your family energies you can very easily uh, become out of balance and I find I had to admit to myself that coffee was not giving me the clarity and balance that I need in my life right now to be healthier and stronger because I want to see my younger son he graduates next year I want to be a strong and healthy mom and I have grandchildren so I want to be strong and healthy for and it's just when you're a personal trainer and your whole career has been about health and wellness it's hard to walk the walk you you know the difference and you do different so you know what I'm no different than any of you watching today and that's what the cozy cushion is all about is that recognition all of us are the same we've all got free will we've all got struggles we've all got things we need to change we've all got way too long of a to-do list and what I would like to practice is my to be list and one other thing I want to be is an inspiration to myself my grandchildren my friends my family my community my province and all the people that need to live a happier healthier and better life where they're at right now that's that's the important part nobody gets to be excluded out of the cozy cushion and those that's my tribe so you know we're a tribe of weirdos that got a lot of shit going on we have a lot of issues that we need to fix we need a a lot of help in our lives and what I'm here to share with you is sometimes when we're being too human and we recognize that we need to change our conditioning meets us often with great resistance and for me in my personal life what's happened with me emotionally with my free will at times is I on knowingly participate in what I call rapid destruction and rapid destruction is 
what happens when we resist change? It happens when we resist acknowledging that we're not happy and that we need to do things that are outside of our comfort zone. And for some of us, you know, rapid uh, self-destruction, for me in the past, it looked like a lot of pot smoking. It looked like a lot of drinking. It looked like a lot of good times. And it was very self-destructive, you know, uh, even though it looked fun and uh, it was exciting and so on and so forth. So the reason I brought up rapid self-destruction today in this video is because all of us go through it and it can happen very quickly. Some of us, it can happen at the best times in our lives. We get married and inside of our bodies, there's this shift of energy that awakens and it takes a while to process. It can be a combination of good and bad things of, you know, imbalance, we'll just call it. It can also happen when really tragic events happen and we lose loved ones because we're all subject to go through those experiences. We're going to lose friends and parents and so many people that are so vitally meaningful to us. And rapid self-destruction can happen to the best of us and the worst of us. When I look out into the world and I, excuse me, I take a look around and I see, uh, I'll use an example, not too long ago I was on my way to uh, volunteer. And on my way there, it was very energetically rough day for me. And I wasn't really enjoying the day, but it was really important to me that I went to volunteer at the theater, which I absolutely love. It's in my community, it's a fantastic place, and it's just filling my heart with so much joy. And I'm on my way there, and down the street, after I park in the parking lot, I look down and there's a young person slumped over, there's a group of people around, there's an ambulance, and my heart sinks. Because I know, because I'm an intuitive empath, that poor person was in the midst of rapid self-destruction. So I don't know what the problem actually was, and that's irrelevant. What I knew was is that somebody in my community was suffering. So that's why I, I want to create the cozy cushion. Mm. So we can enjoy our time together. We can enjoy coffee together, even if it's decaf. Um, which is so good. This decaffeinated coffee that we got for our family is absolutely wonderful. You know, I'm enjoying it way more than I thought. And I am going through some withdrawal. I'm not going to lie. I, I'm going through some withdrawal, some headaches, some, you know, not so cool emotions. You know, it's, it's been rough. So rapid self-destruction can happen to any of us at any given time. I believe the cure for people that are suffering is love, community, engagement, and compassion, and empathy, and offering them an opportunity to share their truth without expectation. I've seen so many miracles happen with these very gentle, natural, quick conversations that happen when people are, are, are going through some rapid self-destruction with which I think I may or may not have a degree in. I, I think I might actually have a degree in rapid self-destruction. You know, I've suffered from uh, disordered eating, which is still an issue that I have to keep track of for myself you know uh, the list is fairly long you guys know already you know a lot about it so I also wanted to say whoever's watching I am deeply 
and thoroughly with my whole heart. I am so glad that you're here. So glad that you have this opportunity to understand that life doesn't have to be hard. It doesn't have to kill us. It doesn't have to be such a brutal sacrifice that we just don't know where we begin and where we end. You know, I'm here to help you in a genuine way to understand that free will gives us a chance and an opportunity to get to do things in life. So one of those things, or many of those things, I get to do recently that has been bringing me great joy is I'm a farmer's daughter. Agricultural things like cows, farms in general, so all our vegetables, all our trees, all our plants, our berries, our earth, our moss, our, all of our sacred medicine means the world to me. And so one thing I've been doing is cultivating a garden. I have strawberries, we have blueberries, we are going to plant some vegetables, and I'm going to increase my egg production, and I'm going to add ducks to my farm. Because duck eggs are so good for us, and it's my own little pharmacy I can build here on a very small property, and it just gives me such joy to be able to farm my own food, to go out each day and collect my eggs and come in and eat food that I know has no chemicals, no pesticides, no herbicides, no nasty stuff at all except for maybe some organic matter, so to speak. Mm. And I think that I want to encourage everyone who's watching this video to start caring for our earth. I know a lot of you already do, but I want you to start growing your own things. Even if it's a few herbs in your window, if it's, I have little tiny uh, grapefruit trees that I've been growing for a couple years now and they're not very big they're very very tiny and eventually when I have a greenhouse uh, that will come sometime uh, I have a avocado tree and I have some grapefruit trees that I'm gonna put out there that I can hopefully grow here in Nova Scotia and learn about you know more, being able to grow more things and I think we're all capable of that, especially if we're mothers and we have children. It's so important for children to dig in the dirt, to walk with their feet on the ground without their shoes. It's important for them to get stung by bees and to be scared by bugs. It's important to teach them how to grow things. Don't let your child's experience be growing one little bean plant in grade three grow things with them every year. Take this opportunity and let yourself think about things that you love, because it's gonna be different than what I love. And if you love orchids, I encourage you to grow and love an orchid. And if it's food that you love, I encourage you to grow your own. And I think we all need to do this for our world, for our earth, for our worms and our bees. And I just, I'm such an ambassador for uh, healthy lifestyles and getting back to the earth and the root of things. Mother Nature has so many sacred medicines like dandelions and clover. I can go on quite a bit about this, you know, garlic, those sort of things that are very medic medicinal very good to help cure and help our body function so much better. So every time I see a dandelion come up in my yard, I'm so excited. That little yellow flower means the world to me. My guinea pigs will be able to get their vitamins and I eat the dandelions as well and the leaves. Uh, so yeah, I encourage you to explore what mother nature has to offer us and how you can help her grow and make this planet a much better safer and more cozier space so that's also 
you know, something I wanted to talk to you about today. Lastly, uh, before I go, we're going to do those cards quickly because I just realized I've talked for 20 minutes and uh, I'm glad you've listened this long. I totally appreciate it. So whoever's listening and watching, I'm going to be shuffling and I'm going to draw a couple cards to see what comes up for us and see if it gives us any advice. absolutely love this little deck. It was a gift that was given to me for my uh, latest birthday. It's my last year in my 40s, friends. So uh, this little this little deck, at first I was like, that's so awkward, they're little circles. But then I realized that life is a circle and we go round and round and we change and we grow and most importantly, we learn we learn from each other. It's so important to not let artificial intelligence, social media, and all these beautiful outlets we get to experience rule our life and take over the sacred healing of being with friends and laughing out loud and dancing uh, and listening to the music and going to the art shows and buying from our farm markets. All that's so, so important, friends. So the first card I'm going to draw for us right here is Mutable. And it talks about versatility, flexibility, and adaptability. So that's kind of interesting. It's probably backwards for you guys. but. That's kind of interesting because those are the things that I was kind of talking about is being versatile in your belief systems and don't feel as though you can't do anything in life and be flexible. When plans change, change with them. There's better things coming for you and adaptability. Whew, I've learned this one the hard way. But the better we can adapt to our situations, most importantly, adapt to our own knowing and our own boundaries and our own emotions and tap into the strength and the sincerity of those emotions and stay strong in our decisions, the better we'll be. So if there's people out there that are not sleeping well, you need to breathe. You need some breath work. I'm sorry, but you do. And you also need to make decisions in your life. It's our unmade decisions that keep us restless and keep us from not sleeping. So make those decisions, friends. It's important to us. The second card we get is Mercury. So interesting. Because it talks about communication which I love to do, correspondence and expression. And that's why I created the Cozy Cushion, is so that I could correspond with you, eventually invite you to my sacred space. I do do readings in person, uh, so you do need an appointment, um, and communication. And I love to communicate and uh, expression. If you're struggling with any of these three things, this card is for you. I want you to know that you're beautiful and you're loved and you're forgiven and you're worth it. You're worth it. You're worth everything. You're worth the communication. You're worth the decisions and you're worth moving forward. Oh, look, we're fixed. We're fixed. Interesting. So fixed is about taking action. So that's exactly what I want you to take, friends. I want you to take action. Take stock in your own life. Where are you at? I want you to take the necessary imperfect steps to reach out to your soul and your spirit and find your happy find your content, find your solitude, and protect your peace. So this is about action, momentum, and dedication. 
which is why I want to show up for you all. Those are my goals, is to be disciplined, to come here each week, to engage with you, to pick up a, moment, a momentum of like-minded people that believe we deserve more, that we need to support our fellow humans that are suffering with addictions and depressions and anxieties and fears. We need to exercise and we need to drink fresh, really good water. We need to eat better. We need to buy local from our own communities. We need to buy things that people within our communities have made with their own hands, like their soaps, their breads, their sweets, their paintings. I want you to listen to your friend's music. I want you to buy from your friend's store. And if you don't have a friend that has any of these things, I want you to find something that you love. I want you to go there and show up and enjoy what somebody new has to offer. There's some place for everybody. So if you don't have your place in the world and it's a struggle for you to find your purpose, you get to create that with your free will. You get to create your life with your free will. You don't have to stay addicted. You don't have to drink every day. Your health does not have to suffer. You do not have to be in silence. You do not have to be in a relationship that's sucking the life out of you. And you do not need to give up on your dreams because of your circumstance. Everything that you need is right here, right now. And the rest is just waiting for you over there, outside of your com comfort zone. So go forth, friends. Be your own pioneer. Be the own captain to your ship. Start creating magic within your own life. Plant a tree and nurture it. Love yourself just a little more because you are definitely loved completely by me. Have a beautiful day, friends. And I will see you next week. Make sure you dance. Take care.